What is going on guys? We are back for episode number 35 of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Avatar Lock and I have no idea where we're going. Lo like legit no idea, but is what it is. Be happy, do what it do. We are back, um, you know, just kind of grinding through this snowy area uh, with Snover. Uh, Azulon is going to absolutely mess you up. I can tell you right now. Uh, okay. So let's just get these. Oh my god, what is my computer doing? My computer is so weird sometimes. I swear, Fogo, it is just unreal. Okay, hold up. Hold up a minute. Can you please? So I don't know what's happening, but like, my like mouse is just deciding that it just will click on things, it won't click on things. I'll have it somewhere and it'll just move, and I didn't touch it. Like, and I know I have like an older razor one, so I'm like, I don't, I don't actually fully know if it's just that like, it's just a super, whoa, bro, can I please move? Um, I don't know if it's just a super old mouse that's the issue, or whether or not it's like an update with razor, because like you have to update your razor mouses and everything, it's just like mouses. I don't know what's happening, but um, yeah, so, <laughs> ninja boy Antonio, Antonio has come to battle, Antonio. I don't know why i don't know why i'm making fun of his name so much but you know what we're gonna roast this little ninja for having the name antonio like what kind of listen you sound like you should be in a new york mobster not that you should be like some little ninja boy in the snow get out of here boy all right get you out buffed by hail oh excuse me uh night slash again Ah. Astonish. Yikes. Yikes. Alright, so you ain't doing no type of damage. That's okay though. Night slash one more time. Get it up out. And do you have a crowbat? Are you actually a good trainer and have a crowbat that a Pokemon that actually likes you? Zulon of 45! See that 120 defense stat? We're getting up there. You're getting up there. I don't know if you do that. Your Pokemon don't love you. How does that make you feel, boy? How does that make you feel? Your Pokemon don't love you. I'm sitting here with an Azumi. And she only evolves because she loves me. That's literally it. Alright. Buffed by the hail. Oh my god, you still had another Pokemon. I didn't even realize. Didn't even clue in. Uh, we're gonna send a night slash, I guess, but wait, I guess I should have actually lost poisoned. Does a little bit more damage. Don't even matter. Get up out. See you later. Critical hit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're just crushing. Just crushing these noobs out here. Azumi, 49, 153 in the special defense stat. What a crazy, what a crazy Pokemon to have on the team. Like, for real, though. Like, how crazy is that? All right. Hey! Boy, get back here! All right, get him about. Show you the technique. What technique you got, boy? Skier Sean. Some sort of snowbird that's gonna get absolutely obliterated. It's okay, though. All right, so he's gonna keep grinding through here, I guess. It is hailing. We will cross poison. Such is life. We've been using a Zulon for so many episodes in a row, but I, I understand that like other team members need time to shine, but like for real though, like we just need to get them leveled up. I mean 45 I guess is sorta of, kind of more or less leveled up, but like the fact that like Iro is like 50 or whatever almost now, it's like, bro, I just need to catch up. Cross poison, get this gold bat up out of here. No crit. <clears throat> Goes to the water pool. You know what? He was actually kind of wild. I actually really like Gold Duck. Gold Duck seems like a really cool Pokemon to have. I don't know. Like, I'm just a big fan of, like... So here's the thing for me, right? When I think of, like, a team that I would want... Like, obviously, I look at it and I go, like... Even though Salamence is one of my favorite Pokemon, there's no way that I'm getting a Salamence just, like, casually in my life. You know what I mean? Like, I am not getting a Salamence casually chilling here... In a, in a in a city you know what i mean like it just ain't happening 
but I could have a knocked out, you know what I mean? And like, knocked out's one of my favorite, like, owls are one of my favorite animals, like, it just works out, right? Way some Pokemon to get, I could have it. Then I look at, like, okay, like, you know, Lucario, Riolu, you can get them in the city, I mean, you probably have to go to the mountains and, like, find them there first, and, like, but, like, you could have a Lucario in your everyday life, it's a, it's just a little, it's a little, like, dog-like Pokemon, you know what I mean? Like, it ain't that big, you know, he's only, like, four foot tall, so, like, you could have that chilling around your house, that's no problem, don't, don't bother nobody. Now, knocked out is a five foot tall owl, so like you might want to have a little bit of space, but you just let it fly around when you when it wants to fly around. You know what I mean? Like you do what you gotta do. But then you get to like, I guess Salmon's actually a pretty small dragon too. I guess that's a thing. But anyways, and then you get to like other Pokemon where I'm like, Mamoswine's like one of my favorite Pokemon too. But like, do you think I'm gonna be able to have some seven foot tall mammoth chin around? Like no. So like it would just never leave my Pokeball. So it's like I would probably not have that. And then I look at like, okay, like water type Pokemon or whatever. Like I really like Greninja. I really like Kyogre, but they're both pretty big. I mean, Greninja is not as big, but like there's no way you're holding the Kyogre down. You know what I mean? So like, I think of like other water creatures and also like with, with Pokemon, I'm like, if I want a water type, like I don't want it to be completely useless out of water. I feel like Kyogre is one of those ones that'd be completely useless out of water. Greninja is fine, obviously, um, but like, Golduck is one of those Pokemon where I'm like, you know what, you're dope in water and you're and you're also capable of being a land creature that's like fairly fast. You know what I mean? Can you stop? And like I think about like Pokemon that you want like in the wild with you, like on an adventure. Like you want a fire type because if you're in the snow like this, you have a fire type to keep you warm. You don't have any water, you got a water type to give you water. And you can keep surviving and keep living, you know? And so, like, I think about that kind of thing in terms of, like, Pokemon that I would want, like... Yeah, something I'm casually thinking about. I don't know. If you have anything that you think, let me know in the comment section below, obviously. But, like, you know, a Pokemon that can, like, produce food. Like, that's sick. That's super dope to have. You know what I mean? I can't really think of any off the top of my head that produce food. Because, I mean, like... I don't know, like a Bond Suite or something? Like... Then you're eating your Pokemon, and that feels like not not okay. <laughs> that feels like not okay. But uh, I don't know. But yeah, in terms of everything else, though, like you know, do what you got, do what you want. But like, as far as like Pokemon types that you feel like are like necessity for you to like trek the universe, trek the trek the world. Like it just feels like you need to have certain ones available to you. Um, Azula level 33. She doing it. My level 47 too. We're gonna go, we're really gonna get to level 50 and never actually deal with the fact that we need a, an evolution stone still. Uh, there's a house up here. We get a team for hail. Um, not useful, but I will take it anyways. Not useful, but I will take it anyways. Hello. Oh. So you're not gonna give me rock climb, you're just gonna talk about rock climb? Oh, never mind. Rock climb found it. Ha! Found it. Okay. Right. So. Okay, there's another person over here. But I don't want to go too far this way and not actually get anything. I don't want to miss and train. Oh, the snow's so high here, bro. You think we should be. Oh, this guy's making all the space. Look at this. <clears throat> Hello. Spinning around. I can do that too. Dang. And also, we're chilling here in a t shirt in the snow. Mantite comes through though. I don't know how I feel about us being a t shirt in the snow. I feel like we'd be freezing our ass off. Uh, we're gonna cross poison though. Although, I guess we are Fire Nation. It don't matter. We can internally heat ourselves with our chi. Damn. Didn't even think about that. The, the the only nation that could walk around this area, no problem. I guess I guess the water nation could as well. Um, okay, we're gonna cross poison here. Get rid of this sneasel. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey. Right. It would also be nice that you could get a gimbal and then not immediately deal with like a big ice area. 
Because then you could actually use the Pokemon that you just acquired. I mean, I get that it's like pseudo legendary, like you don't want to have it early, you want it to be hard. Ooh, spell tag, I'll take that. I'll take that. Hello? What's up, girly? Oh, hello? That would be the place to evolve your Eevee into a Glaceon. Hello? Hello? Please, battle me! Thank you. Thank you! Alright, Skier Lexi. Sends out a Meryl. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, uh, Meryl, you about to get absolutely smacked up by this cross poison. If you were an Azumarill with huge power, I might be scared of you, but you ain't. You ain't. Get up out. And the fairy. All right, the fairy, let's go. Cross poison you as well. Bop. Nice. Alright, Iroh's level 50 now, too. Iroh's the first Pokemon to make it to 50 on the squad. Really loving that. I think we're actually going to be using Zuko in this gym, though. I think I'm prepping it in a way... Hello, please battle me. Um, I'm prepping it in a way that's such that, like, Zuko might be the one that we go with uh, for the gym, because I just feel like we haven't used Zuko in a bit. Obviously, Zuko being our, like, starter and kind of, like, ace. So, it feels weird that we just really haven't used it, but, um, alright. Uh, yeah, let's cross poison here. Goes for the sucker punch. Alright, cross poison. Get up out of here. Alright. Nice crit. Nice crit. And, get that out. Okay, uh, Machoke. Cross Poison. Wow, that didn't even do- Wow, that didn't do as much damage as I thought it was gonna do. That did not do nearly as much as I thought it was gonna do. That's okay, though. Uh, do you have, an, you have a third Pokemon, right? Yeah, you do. Okay. Cross Poison here. Probably just heal up. I feel like- Azulon's like pretty safe to just stay in and do whatever he wants to do right now. Although we are getting a little low on health here. When Onyx comes in. Uh You know, that doesn't make me feel all that terribly great. Uh okay, so Onyx, I mean obviously I don't think he can hit very hard. But we're gonna heal up and then I'll toxic. And then maybe I can just Night slash my way through this. Goes for SmackDown. Ain't nobody was flying on you, buddy. Ain't nobody was flying on you. And why you even need to smack people down? You already giant. You already a giant. Like I don't understand. Uh, we're actually because of that. I can just night slash immediately. I forgot about hail. I don't know why I forgot about hail, but I forgot about hail. Goes for curse. Mm. Hey, crit on this next air, uh, Night Slash, and we should be good to go. Also, by the way, the background in this area is so sick. I love the backgrounds in these newer games, man. Like, all the backdrops of the fights, they're all so good. Man, I know that people rip on the trees and shit, but like... I don't know, as a whole, it's like a nice background, you know? Like, if you could remove the Pokemon and, and like, the trainer and just get the background, like, all of these would be super sick backgrounds for, like, a series, you know what I mean? You don't even have to do nothing. Just be plain, like, nice kind of blurred out foreground, like, foreground's a little bit more there, but, like, you got your screen covering it. Like, it'd be such a cool layout. But that's just the artsy person to me, though, talking, though. I understand that, like, not everyone thinks that way, but, like, I look at it and go, like, that's a sick background. Just randomly. You know, like, obviously, like, this, this little, like, overhead view of the trees is not, but, like, the ones in the battle screen, like, this one, sick. 
Absolutely love it. Even like a close up one, that looks sick as well. You know what I mean? Like you get a game that's more like based in like snow. Like a little, little, little way more snowy area. A sick background. All right, and this Rose Roselia is gonna get smacked up. Uh, we're actually running out of moves though for Zulon right now, which is a little bit frustrating. I need some PP maxes, but like, I wish you could just buy them. 46 for a Zulon, you have now almost caught up to my. You've almost caught up and a Sea King comes out. Random Pokemon for you to have, but I mean like, sure. Bye. Bye. Hey. Ooh, Azula almost up 34. Almost. Almost, almost, almost. Okay. Uh, you know what? I could actually just spray Repel now. I don't really need to deal with grass anymore. Alright, so... The lake should be right up here somewhere. Now, do I deal with the... I can't deal with the lake first. Okay, that makes it easier. Clearly, I cannot deal with the lake first, so we will just continue on. Bro, what is over here? What is happening? What is this place? Why is it such a weird route? Ultra Ball, I'll take that though. Take it and sell it. Make all that money. Get rich. Uh... I don't think I need one now. And we have now made it to Snow Point City. Where do you take me? Oh, a great trainer, huh? You better learn- you better put some respect on my name. I am a great trainer. Alright, so let's explore this place a little bit. Obviously- ooh, the, the mart? With the snow on it? Love to see it. Um... Alright, let me- I don't really need Pokeballs anymore. I guess, you know what though, I still do for the... I still do for one reason and one reason alone. So we're gonna go and add 30 Pokeballs so we have 50. Oh look, there's a Luna. Hello Luna. Hello puppy. Hello. Come here. Come here. Up up. No, no, up up. Up up. Luna, come here. Oh, she don't. Oh, she don't know. She's knocking over the Ultra Ball. Look at this. She just dropped. She just, she just gave me this. See this, Luna? But uh, you're not exactly where they can see you. Y you hopped up this way, but like, they can't see you. Look at this. Hello. How are you? She does this every time that she eats. So every time that she gets food, we have an automated food thing. So like. We don't actually have to feed her, like, it just kind of automatically goes off. Obviously, I guess by the name, you could probably defer that, but, uh, yeah, um... Let's grab 20, yeah, 25 is a nice even number. Nice even number, love to see it. 26! Yeah, we'll just chill with that. Uh, yep. And then we'll do... 10 is 19, so we'll do 16. There we go, okay. But yeah, so she does this every time she eats. She has, to, she has to come say thank you to us for uh, giving food and sustenance. So appreciate that. She's uh, super happy about it. But uh, yeah, uh, I see that we don't need that. Um, yeah, I don't I don't want to catch anything in an Ultra Ball. I don't want to catch anything in a Premier Ball. I want to catch everything in Pokeballs. And I've always been that way. Like, I really, really dislike using anything but a Pokeball. And I don't know why, I just, it just feels like I'm giving special treatment to a Pokemon on my team by giving it a different Pokeball. Like, Zulon having a, the, the Safari Ball really bothers me. It really does. And there's nothing I can do about it, I understand this, but like, it's just rough. It's just rough. Uh, you teaching me something? Hello? Snow Point Temple. Hello? Saving? You have a Torchic! Metachamp for Haunter? Ooh, so that's how you get Gengar in this game. Interesting. Although, watch that Haunter probably has some Eevee Light on it. It's some bullshit. And they'd be like, actually, you take it off now. That'd be, that'd be such a ripoff trade. Thinking you're getting a Gengar and, like, in reality, you're... Ooh, you have a Bulpix! Hello? Brilliant! 
hello. <gasps> you came right to me when I said brilliant. Yeah, because you know you brilliant. Yeah, hell yeah. Vulpix. Yeah, do you think, girl? Do you think? All right. Uh, okay, so... See, that Vulpix was also naturally affiliated with us because of the Fire Nation. So she knew to come. She knew to come. Uh, okay, so Pokemon Center, we need to heal up Azulon for sure. Uh, and then we'll probably... Just a side up, just chilling. What's the side up doing? He just, he just happy to be here. All right, heal up. Heal me up, Scotty. All right. So what I think we're gonna do is probably use. Ooh, hello. One center. Uh, let's see. Is there anything that I can really? Yo, I actually read that. They actually do have that uh, Everstone on it, so it won't evolve into a Gengar. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I'd be so pissed. So pissed trying to Metacham for that. Hell no. Hell no. Uh, okay, so what we should be doing here is we're going to wrap today's episode right here. So thanks everyone for watching. Click like if you liked this video. Subscribe if you really liked it. And I will see you guys in the next one.